If you want to learn more about high pressure quick couplers to work safer, avoid accidents and downtime, you came to the right place. Hi all, I'm Clay with Gustin Hydraulics. Our specialty has been the sales and service of manufacturers of high pressure hydraulic tools and equipment since 1954. Representing manufacturers like Interpac, Power Team, OTC, Simplex, Greenlee, Norco, and others. So, one more thing before we begin, make sure to subscribe and also click the bell so you'll be notified as we add more related videos. And be a hero by sharing this channel with your team, your safety director, your tool crib manager, the people using these tools. In this video, I'm going to cover our top five most frequently experienced issues with quick couplers. Please feel free to share any of your experience as well. Put them down in the comments below. So I'm going to save the scariest stories for a bit later. So you're going to want to stick around to learn how to avoid becoming the subject of a scary story. So here we go. Number five, be sure your couplers have a working pressure of 10,000 PSI. There are couplers out there that look identical that have a much lower pressure rating. Due to the much higher prevalence of low pressure hydraulics out there in the world, that's two to 3,000 PSI if you didn't know. So just be aware of that and double check. Number four, bent coupler, damaged threads, leaking, just replace it. We're talking 10,000 PSI here, and the compromised coupler can break under pressure, drop a load, um, it can become a hydraulic injection hazard. It's just not worth risking life or limb. Number three, make sure they're connected completely connected and double check triple check i'm talking mainly about threaded couplers here this is probably the number one phone call we get in regards to coupler failures the user reports something like my pump is pressuring up but my ram isn't advancing or my ram won't return when i open the release valve and there is still pressure in the hose or my ram will advance but not return these scenarios are most often the result of a threaded coupler that is blocked by having come unthreaded. Even one or two threads can make the difference to where the ball or the cone that, that checks the oil when disconnected uh, can, can either partially obstruct or completely find its seat in the coupler and block the flow. This can turn into a very dangerous situation. More on that in just a moment. Also, if you don't know what we're talking about here, threaded versus non-threaded type of couplers, go and check out our video right here that explains the available options with couplers. So if any of the symptoms, what I just described, sound familiar, stop what you're doing, figure out how to proceed safely. Crib your load safely, use jack stands, just stop. Number two. Don't touch while under pressure. Don't touch couplers, fittings, hoses, and other system components. If a hose or fitting bursts and you are close enough to it, you can be injected with hydraulic fluid. I've never witnessed this in person, but I hear it's a very painful, ugly injury that involves cutting open the affected area over and over again in an attempt to keep the oil out of your bloodstream. Wearing gloves is a great habit to get into to minimize the possibility of injection as well as other injuries. As I mentioned previously in number three about blocked couplers, if the return side flow becomes blocked at the coupler in a double acting cylinder setup, as the advanced side of the coupler is allowed to continue to build pressure, at some point the cylinder will likely burst or blow the coupler out, threads and all. This is due to the advanced side of the cylinder having a larger effective area than the return side. The reduced effective area is because of the volume that the rod takes up on the top side of the cylinder. Well-designed cylinders have a safety relief valve built in the return side in case this happens, though not 100% guaranteed that it can't fail. But avoiding a blocked coupler and setting that safety valve off in the first place will likely save you the downtime and repair cost of sending the cylinder in to have that valve seat 
reset and or replaced. A side note, and I'll talk more about this in a future video, but we all have a uh, blog post on our website that talks about it as well. Um, that is bleeding your system. If a burst happens, it's always a better outcome when there is less air in your system. A customer of ours years ago was positioning a concrete column that weighed likely close to 100 tons. They had two 50-ton cylinders and only one pump with no splitter or manifold of any kind. They had jacked one cylinder up to the load and then disconnected that hose via the coupler at the cylinder and then connected that hose via the coupler to the other cylinder and began jacking the column. It started to tilt back towards the other cylinder, effectively overloading that one beyond its capacity. There, unfortunately, was a worker right next to that now overloaded cylinder, presumably being a spotter, and the check ball in that coupler shot like a bullet right through the palm of this guy's hand. Very lucky that it was just his hand, though very unfortunate and avoidable. Just to go into a little bit more detail there, if your, your gears are turning here with that scenario I just described, um, aside from not using a manifold of some kind, instead disconnecting couplers while under pressure, not good. They also needed higher capacity cylinders. Working close to the max rating of any equipment is never a good idea, but especially when a load can shift and put one or more cylinders above capacity, uh, such as in this scenario. Oh yes, uh, as always, down below in the description, I'll be adding links to all of the products that I've talked about here, system setup guides, uh, safe use instructions, and all kinds of other good stuff. Thanks again. Pick up the phone and call us. You can email us, you can chat us. We're glad to help with your troubleshooting. Hold up, just one sec. As always, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate the thumbs up. We even appreciate the thumbs down, but if you do that, you gotta explain why. Help us uh, figure out how to make these things even better. Uh, despite me uh, being in this industry for almost 30 years personally, I'm sure I haven't seen everything, so uh, let us know. Thanks again for watching and work safe. We sell everything. Just kidding. <laughs> we opted for just knowing what we're talking about. No. Just. Oh, did I say that out loud?